Oh, wait, wait, wait. See if they give us a tire or something. Um, yeah, like, once again, this is me. I'm not really an artist. I'm just setting the scene for when people come in, they can sort of see what's up. So you're, you're the owner of this property, too, no, yeah? No, I'm not. I just have the barbecue oh, okay. stand. You just have the, okay, I got you. So, um, yeah, when we talked with the owner of the property and he said it was cool to do, basically, um, this is sort of the plan. So, you know, if you're coming in, we're going to have guest artists do a chalk mural here like every week you know if you don't like it just hose it down if you don't like it, just rip it down throw it out all of my stuff especially is just disposable i don't i don't feel like anything i do should be here forever so this area right here i'm gonna go back to dallas i got some lights we're gonna make this into a christmas tree i'm gonna put them down like that that'll get you some more eye attention going that way and then last night what i did was i opened up this fence a little bit put the open sign there and put the floodlight so that they can see you from there. If they see this, you're going there, you know? We're just trying to draw people in here. I'm, I'm not saying this looks good. I'm just saying last night, we had 10 people stop by just to see what the hell this was. And the end goal of this is I'm actually gonna install lights. I've got a, this is for my nonprofit. It's called the Go Green Mile. So we have a mile of businesses from here to Guthrie Lumberyard. They're willing to do something to go green. And so we hook up with local artists and they do a display piece. We tell what the business does, we say what we do, and then we just, it's free, you know, it's free promotion. So I know this guy and I, and, and I really, this area I think needs to have a little bit more attraction, you know? So that's what I'm doing, I'm just starting it off. But everything I do will be, be here and gone, you know? But the end goal is um, I'm gonna install these solar panel lights. So we're gonna hook them up there and then we're gonna have lights so people are gonna see like a real car i'm um, getting a hood so it's gonna really look like you know a real car and then hopefully i can get a, a fender or something that we can make it this was just you know the rough sketch here you know it's not gonna look like this and i'm happy to take stuff down whatever throw it out like i said but so basically you know like we're gonna have art i like to have like one thing over here and then in this area here, I'll do some landscaping. I'm going to put up a couple of easels there. Just to, you have a lot of foot traffic here. And you have a lot of cars. Like, look at that. Every car that goes by here is $20,000 or more. And so we want to give people that, that let's draw them in here. So that might not be drawing the $20,000 people and I understand that. And this is not permanent, you know. But the, the permanent part of it is once I'm done with our little Christmas display, is I'm going to put up a agave plant and I'll do a row of flowers and wrap it around with some stones and so this will be uh, just a little garden area and I think that will be much more palatable for everybody that's sort of my vision for, for basically after Christmas you know okay. we'll get a nice cactus here and we'll just you know we can light it up the same but you know just a kind of normal thing this is just sort of once again me welcoming artists because anybody can do better than that you know so once artists come in they just sort of see like oh okay this is where it's at but I think you know at least for the next 
10, 15 days until Christmas, um, you know, we, we can make that a Christmas tree. But like I said, I'm not really an artist. I'm willing to work with everybody. And this is a collaborative thing. So it's really trying to get the community involved. Like I've got the chalk so far, out. It hasn't been a collaborative that we weren't brought in on this. Right. And, and you know, I don't, I don't have, right. I don't have, I don't have any other ability to communicate with anybody except for when I talk with people that I know, you know. So I was assuming that they sort of ran it through everybody, but they didn't, and I apologize for that. But um, honestly, anything you would like done, and I'm pretty much gonna take this all down now, and I'm gonna move that American flag. That gentleman said you don't really want anything on your area, and that's fine, because I'd rather have an American flag here for now, because it looks better, you know? Um, but that, that, that's the general synopsis, you know? We're just, we're just a, uh, we're a nonprofit. We help people do environmentally friendly things, I'm gonna hook up with artists who use environmentally friendly materials. And so this is gonna be, when we're, we do events on this mile, so we're gonna have walks, we're gonna have dog walks, we're gonna have bike rides. And right now, we're either gonna end the walk here, or we're gonna end the walk if we have a big party at the Guthrie Lumberyard. So it's, it's all promotion, you know? I understand this is not like the greatest anything, but it, it's, it's just the first step. It's my rough sketch because the real artists will come and put up real artwork, you know? Well, forgive my so, criticism, but you know, I'm, I'm an artist too sometimes. Okay. And, well, put some know. stuff up. Yeah, no, I agree. I don't know either, and I told him last night, this is all temporary, you know? But it's better to judge it when it's done, because I just, this is just the rough sketch. You know, there's some interactive elements. We've got these pulley systems. I want families, kids, everybody who's walking down here to be like, what's going on here? You know, and I feel like I've sort of accomplished that, like what the hell's going on here, but maybe not in, in the level of professionalism that everyone wants, you know. So just take it with a grain of salt, and if you ever want something down, moved, or just destroyed, I don't care for my stuff, you know. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm not, I'm not, I don't make money being an artist. And I don't make money from this nonprofit at all. I don't make money from art, basically, ever. So. You know, I'm just I'm just kind of the the welcoming mat, if you will. You know, so I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna move that stuff over there and I'll put it over here. I'm gonna take down this junky little flag and those little things and make it a little more calmer. But I'm going to Dallas. I'm gonna get my lights. We're gonna make it into a Christmas tree, and then once I'm done, I'm happy to just take it all down. You know, because yeah, I, I want everybody. Hang some of this on Pueblo's trailer. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I mean, if, if anybody wants some, do it Christmas, right? if anybody wants some decorations, I'm happy to do it. And they're right now. But sir. the idea is, the idea is really, honestly, is just to get more people in here. And that's it. So, and with that in mind, I'm not I, getting paid for I'm it. Game for anything that to get people. Exactly in right. Yeah. So, but I want everyone to be cool with it at the same time. So, I'm Dave. I'm, I'm going to give you my number, Alan. Yeah. I'm going to give you my phone number. And just call me up. I have two people that work for me in Austin. Yeah. I'm not here full time right now. I'm halfway. Uh, I sell commercial electricity, yeah. and so that's out of Dallas and, and New York and Pennsylvania, and I roam around a little bit for them. But I, I, if I can't be here personally, if anything is ever an issue, especially if you feel like it's affecting your, you know, your area, I, I will get it fixed for you, without a doubt. This is the name of the nonprofit if you want to look that up. It's called the Go Green Mile. Mm -hmm. okay. And so right now we have it in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Oh, we're going to Michigan. That's where I started it. It, it was almost too easy because everybody kind of does green already, you know. But I was um, I was a manager of a, of a restaurant and it was too expensive to do recycling. So I hooked up with four or five of the other places around and together we actually save money from recycling. Yeah. So that was sort of the inspiration for it, to make it, I, I know it makes common sense to recycle and all that, but it's gotta make dollars and cents for a business owner, you know? So we, we try and offset, you know, if you wanna use environmentally friendly napkins, that costs like five, ten dollars more. So we try and offset that with promotion, with getting more people in here. But we don't make anybody do anything they don't want to. Right. We just kinda give suggestions and promote people for what they do. And that's all there is. There's no, there's no catch, you know. Yeah. Um, so Ann Arbor, um, 
And then Dallas, we've, we've got the mile, but Dallas really isn't the place to do it. Um, College Park, Florida. Orlando. Um, so that's sort of where, where we're like, yeah. where we've got our miles. But the idea is, if somebody goes to a foreign place and they want to know what places are, you know, caring, that they can just go to our app, find the place and go there. Yeah. It, you know, just promoting people to do the right thing, you know. So that that's that. And it's the Go Green Mile at Gmail if you ever want to send an email. And that's my personal phone number. You can always get me on that. Uh, I think that's no, it, that's yeah. It, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm all about green. I, mean, I recycle every day. I burn wood, man. Awesome. And and I would promote you just for doing that much, you know? Like, I, I'm not trying to tell people what to do, ever. I'm just trying to promote right. the people who do what, what I think is the right thing, you know? So... Yeah. There Sounds you go. Good, if you ever have any problems, just just let me know. Sounds I'm, I'm good, more than happy to make you happy. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Cool. Man. Well, I appreciate you. And so does everybody else. Last night there was like four or five people. I told you, at least ten people came in to see what's going on. They wanted to run. It was a Monday. It was, it was a Monday. Right, well, I'm gonna that down. Yep. Thanks for your time. charity uh -huh. thing and so I'm gonna I'm gonna make like a I like, the whoosh, whoosh, like a form <laughs> yeah, sort of decorations you see these are really old some of those some of those decorations uh -huh. those are really oh, old like the camera right there well yeah. I mean the, the Christmas Man, I need one, one. <laughs> hey well you can take it I don't care but this is this is sort of my vision uh -huh. um, so this to hang good. the lights like that uh -huh. To make it look like a Christmas, like tree, a Christmas tree, and I also want to trim all that because uh -huh. this is a beautiful tree, especially at night. All these juniper berries or whatever those are, uh, they're those really are the, nice, yeah. but you can't see them. Right. So I want to, I want to take advantage of this. Yeah, I want to trim some of those vines off uh -huh. and make the tree look better, and then light it up. Uh -huh. And then here I'm gonna get a hood and some lights. Mm -hmm. And I've actually I got a hold of a solar panel company oh, from yeah? Dallas. And I think they'll be willing to, as long as they can put up their information, like this was donated by whatever, I think we can get a solar panel. Like a little plate or whatever? Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, how little are they? I mean, they make, <laughs> now they actually can print them up on paper. Oh, really? Oh, man. Solar panels got a lot cheaper. <laughs> but so I, behind on the It depends technology. on the application. Like, if you want it, if you want to have it going to a battery that charges the okay. battery and then use the battery, they're bigger. But, um... I'm gonna let them do that work, you know? Yeah. I just sort of network. I don't know everything. <laughs> I don't want to know all the ways that it works. So that's sort of the idea. I think, uh, I talked oh, to the Guthrie Lumberyard. Okay. I told you already, yeah? Yeah, yeah? They're gonna give us the wood. 
-huh. So we're going to be able to make the easel. I'm thinking like right here, huh? we can put a piece right here. Yo sabe tequila. So I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking doing one right here, uh -huh. so as people drive by they can see it. Maybe we can also hook that up with a light. Uh -huh. We need some sort of lighting. Then like one over there, uh -huh. and I'm thinking this area would be the best to sort of, uh, you know, landscape. I'll get all that out of there. Maybe even throw some wood chips or something, and then put the easels along there. So yeah, like it'll encourage it'll people to sort of flow thing. around. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Like it. I like it. So that's sort of the idea. And then when I'm done with this, whenever you guys are done with this <laughs> setup, what I'd like to do is get like a cactus or an agave and put that kind of where the hood will Real be. Real one? Real one, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I can get it donated, you know? And so put that right there and then line it with some flowers and put some rocks on the outside so that, you know, once I'm done, the area will definitely be better than it started, you know? <laughs> right. So, uh, um... <laughs> nah, don't mind, no. <laughs> not much. No, not much. Just, just that he didn't know what was going on. Oh, okay. And so I just had to sort of say, like, you know, I'm just starting it. I'll take down anything you want, whatever, you know? Um, Wait, you guys understand, this is just my rough sketch. Right. This is just me sort of like, okay, what can I do tonight? Yeah. But, but you know, that's the idea, that we can get in an actual car edifice here. Mm -hmm. And then I also thought it'd be cool to put some Christmas presents. You know, I'll get some boxes and wrap them uh -huh. up, put them in bows to really make it look like a, a real tree. Christmas tree. Yeah. 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 So that's the idea. So you have like a... Mm, that's going to be before Christmas, right? Gonna this do week. Like some this week. Christmas. Okay. Today is the 11th. Is it the 11th or the 12th? 11th. Okay. So today is the 11th. Uh -huh. With by the 18th, for sure. Well, yeah. even before that, two three days, I'll be done with this. But by the 18th, uh -huh. I think we should be ready to throw an event here, and like you know, put up, make flyers, yeah. invite people here, and make it a park event. Yeah. And and I needed to ask you guys what. Up. All right, all right. We we passed like this is my friend Dan, by the way. Dan, this is Lupita. Um, yeah, I was thinking I might even build around this in my mom's painting because we want to build that area too. You know what I mean? Yeah, his mom's, mom's an artist. She's pretty uh, um. So yeah, do an event. And, and what I needed to know was, is there any is there any um, ordinances as far as music playing here? Well, have you guys ever been told by the city like you can't play music at a certain time? No. no. Okay, well I'll check with them uh -huh. and see if we need to get a temporary permit. And maybe I can get some sponsors like us, because you don't sell booze here. But at the folk market, every week there's somebody giving out vodka or tequila or whiskey. So I'm gonna see if we can get somebody who wants to sponsor the event and get a temporary liquor license for them. And so we can have a couple of yeah, tables set up. Right, right. So that that's what I'm going to work on this next week. So by you know 18th, it should be done, and then by that that next week, like around the I think it's kind of close. We might want to actually have the event. We might want to have it on on a Friday, you know. Friday, because that will. Overlap with other well, That's I'm also sort of, I want this place to be like the after party, right? After party. So people want to leave the bar at like midnight, one o'clock, you know, and they come here. Right. So I was thinking like more of like a midnight event, okay. but um, it could be more than one day too. So right. uh, what do you guys think would be the best day if we want to actually get people to show up here at like six o'clock? I think on Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, Thursday know. maybe. I think that's yeah. uh, that's, bar night that's like the weekend, college night, yeah. yeah. So I think that's very, very yeah. reasonable. Like I can finish this up, like I said, in a couple of days. The artist will get here in, in a couple of days, and that will give me time because I'll be done to hand out flyers. Oh, and, you know, I mean, <laughs> if, if left uh, yeah. to my own devices, I will be too. But I don't procrastinate. I just do other things, you know. <laughs> I do, I do, I am. Right. So, so that sounds like a pretty good goal, yeah. yeah? Yeah. So by by next Thursday we can so have an we event. Can start like 
advertising with people and whatnot. Yeah, I'm gonna put out my next newsletter and I'm gonna okay. give us like a full page or two page, you, you know. Can, like, Twitter, Facebook and all that? Yeah. Smile. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we can include you on Go Facebook. Green Mile on yeah. Facebook. Do you have uh, any obvious friends like me? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, so I can tell my friends, I don't know if she would be here. I, I've got that email that you sent and I have a flyer that says calling all artists. Mm -hmm. I'll forward that to you and basically just hand that to them. It yeah. says everything. They're gonna be angry. If they want to, yeah, and then and that's something I'm not trying to make money from this, you know. Yeah. So basically if you guys want to work out a deal, I'll tell him you'll get a twenty or thirty percent commission for what you sell. If you're taking their money in, you're doing their job. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're can, just desperate to get people here. That's okay, okay, well hey, that will get more <laughs> artists here, you know, if you don't yeah, want to take any commission. Yeah. But honestly, you yeah. should take something because every artist is used to if somebody sells their work, uh -huh. they pay a commission. And if you don't charge that commission, you're going to get shitty artists here and you don't want that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're going to yeah, have me yeah. everywhere. And you, <laughs> you, you don't want that. Right. So. You, don't, you don't want that. So, so most artists are usually, they're used to paying like a 50% commission on what they sell. And the price is jacked up. So I think they would be totally fine with selling at a normal price and giving you guys a 20% or something. So if you're holding their money and you're taking records for them, look, you're doing their work. Uh -huh. If they're here and they're going to be by their art and sell it themselves, then that's their money. Yeah. But otherwise, that's I think it's a good little addition to yeah. you, you know? Just take them. Yeah, we just want to get people, people here. here. Okay, well, me too. We're on the same page. We just want to get people here. And last <laughs> nice night, we had here. about 10 people just show up like, what are you doing? You know, like... We, right here? Yeah. <laughs> nice. I mean, I'm over there digging and, you know, people, people are asking yeah, what's, I, I, what's going I'm, on. I'm doing everything but tacos, okay? <laughs> Great. And people were looking for you guys, right. too. When they came in, they wanted your tacos. Right, But yeah. no, you can't justify being open on a Monday. It's, 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 it's too much for you. <laughs> but yeah, by, by Thursday, I think we should be able to launch it. Okay. Yeah, Thursday. All right. Yeah. All right. And write, write your number down one more time for me just so I can call some other people who, who are going to be in the next yeah, newsletter like of 35, whatever. Yeah, like I got to this guy like four times. Maybe he, maybe he wants to donate something. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, like, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. 
they'll like it. Like, Maybe that gym a wants to set up a booth. Yeah, um, the rock thing. <laughs> no, I've talked to I've talked to him before. It's just like, man, they're so serious about it. I was out there one morning. They're having their meeting. Like, okay, we're gonna go over here and over there. Make sure you're on this side because they people run fast. And this, and it's like, what happened to just? Daddy. Yeah, just go and run. Like, why do you have to have all these rules? Like, because but I'll talk trainer. to them. I will. I, I know because the trainer has to make their money. Yeah, and make they, they usually support. come get tacos from here. Okay. Okay. Alright, alright. You can like, let them know, right? Well, maybe, maybe what I can do is one day, one day this next week before the event, I can get a couple samples from you guys, from them, from them, and give people, like, hey, we want to invite you uh -huh. to the event we're having here. Right. You know, here's some samples. Stand on the street if you haven't tried go. our stuff. Yeah. yeah. That, that would be fun. So, yeah, maybe we can shoot for, for doing like promotion day. Yeah. Me, Gucci going out all day. And those two guys I got, we'll, we'll on Tuesday. And then Thursday we can launch it. All right. Sound good. Good seeing you again, man. Thanks again. That taco this morning was great. And yesterday. Oh, gosh. Now well, you like it, man. Yeah, you know it. I like that camera. Okay, I'm going to leave the camera for you. Everything else might be gone. No, I'll be here all night. I'm gonna take some of it off. I'm gonna put this back and dry here and switch it up. business card. Definitely take the max. They're saying it in unison. Yep. <laughs> Nice. What is this, though? 